everybody. Welcome to my July 2022 digital plan with me. Today we're going to be using the Prosperity Planner along with the Prosperity Planner sticker book. And I have not set my hex code colors and my pen presets yet. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just taking my hex code this hex codes that are in the sticker book that I've provided when you purchase the prosperity planner you also get this complete sticker book and I am adding my hex codes to my presets because I'm totally all about color coordination <laughs> Right here I decided to flip my planner vertically so all I did was just flip my iPad vertically and of course when you have screen record on when I'm making these YouTube videos it shows the flip. But the Prosperity Planner is a vertical planner and not a horizontal planner. I do hope to expand these to horizontal and put out even more digital planners that um, if you're not into goal-oriented planning, then I hope to put out some digital planners that are horizontal that are not goal-oriented. I have been thinking a lot about more about like a manif manifestation planner with affirmation pages and meditation pages, those kinds of things. Here is the Prosperity Planner sticker book that you get. There are tons and tons of stickers. So right now I'm just on the weekly planner. So I turn off my pen tool and go to July and look. And the first things that I want to do is to drop my number dots into the monthly planner. But I want to put my month label up at the top. It takes me a few minutes to decide what kind of label I want to use, what kind of digital sticker. <laughs> we all know this struggle. But this is why I love this planner is it's ready for you to just outright write in it. You can just use your pen tool and write, but it's also so versatile because you can use the sticker book any way you want. You'll see me resize multiple times um, how I use the stickers and the little washi and the icons. Sometimes I keep it bare and I just write in the planner, especially on a daily page if I'm in a hurry and I need to just get something down really quick or I take the time and really decorate the page if I'm in that decorative I don't have anything to do I'm watching Netflix in the background kind of thing <laughs> so I've decided to put a sticker box up here and just put July in it and then I decide that I need to be more perfectionist and resize my sticker. So the way that I resize my stickers from the Prosperity sticker book is to click on the image tab and then draw, drag the up and down left and right arrow to make it fit the size that I want it to fit. I really love the Prosperity Planner, all because it's focusing on the goals that you have 
and keeping you in the here and now to really get those goals, uh, achieve those goals. So with the Prosperity Planner, I just want to run through really quick what it is. It's a 200 plus page digital hyperlinked planner. There's over a thousand hyperlinks in it. It comes with tons and tons of extra. There are monthly, weekly, and daily planning pages for you in here for a full year. It's all hyperlinked. Every monthly box is hyperlinked. Every week is hyperlinked. Every daily page is hyperlinked. There's also a daily journaling page to recap your goals for the day, to clear your mind, to recap your gratitude, so you're staying in the present. So that's really great when you're working on some long-term or even short-term but difficult goals. There's also habit trackers, a to-do list, notes pages, and I have included two special gifts in the planner. One is a 30-day goal, the ultimate goal planner, and that's a specific 30-day workbook in the planner where if you have like a big goal, like say one of mine might be getting out a new digital planner, I really break down the big goal of creating and putting out the digital planner, break it down into actionable items and like I need to do my market research, what kind of planner I want it to be, what I want to include in it, and then start breaking down working on the planner, working on your daily pages and whatnot like that. So that is a super focused um, goal planner for a get to get a goal out in 30 days. 30 days is not that much when you have a big goal like that. And I've also included a 90 day or quarterly, you could call it, um, success workbook. And it's setting some goals for your quarter or a 90 day period. You can use that at any point you want, any time through the year. It doesn't need to start at each quarter. It's just a 90-day success workbook where you workbook through your goals and break them down into actionable items and how to hit those goals in 90 days, whether that be working on your debt or finishing a class in school or finishing a big project or setting up an Etsy shop, anything like that. Whatever your goal may be, these two workbooks, the 30 day and the 90 day, are gonna really help you think about the goal, how to break them down. It's gonna walk you through everything so that you easily know what you need to do each day, week, um, throughout the month or throughout that three month period to hit the goals that you want to hit, which is why I've called this the prosperity planner. Because the more you focus on your goals and you really learn how to break them down like that, you can use this planner to make sure that you're hitting those goals or working towards those goals and you don't just write the goal down and forget it. We've all been there. So you have tons and tons of extras packed in this digital planner for you. So here you can see that I've just taken my um, hexagon date numbers from my Prosperity Planner sticker book. You get these as well when you buy the Prosperity Planner. When you purchase the Prosperity Planner, you'll get the planner. You'll also get instructions on how to download to um, several different applications that you might use. I am in love with GoodNotes. I have not found any other planner or any other PDF application that allows me to do what GoodNotes allows me to do. It's super flexible, easy to learn, and I'll be putting out more videos on how to use GoodNotes. I swear by GoodNotes. Every, every time I talk to somebody about digital planning, here lately it's been my sister, I tell her all about GoodNotes and I taught her how to use it in less than 30 minutes. And 
I'm excited to see where she takes it. Now she's a teacher so I will be putting out a digital teacher sticker kit uh, for like um, your in-service days and things like that. But that's coming closer to August when school starts back and I will have these in print sticker form. So if you are a hands-on planner, you'll be able to get these the teacher bundle of stickers for this next teaching year. You'll be able to get those on my Etsy shop. And you can always find my Etsy shop by going to dannyhoneycut.com. D-A-N-I-H-O-N-E-Y-C-U-T-T. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Just kidding. The link will be in the description. <laughs> I'm excited because I also might be able to pick my sister's brain and make a teacher digital planner. That would be so fun. Super versatile. Keep your grades and everything on good notes. That would be amazing. So here I'm just taking the time to resize my little hexagons because I like them to fit in the square plus those little squares are hyperlinks so when I click on the number I want it to take me to that daily page and it takes me some time to plan out my month because um, one this is my first full month in the prosperity planner so I do have to migrate from some other planners and I also have to look at my Google Calendar because I had that set up for doctor's appointments and things like that. So that way if I forget to write it down, my phone will notify me that I have a doctor's appointment the day before. I set my Google notifications to like the day before. It'll email me or ping up on my phone that I have a doctor's appointment the next day, just in case I forget. Uh, I do have chronic illnesses, so sometimes brain fog is really heavy, and that's why I choose to digital plan, because I have to write down everything or I forget it. Just ask my husband. I can forget things very easily. So obviously, since it's July, we have Independence Day, which is July the 4th. Whoop, whoop. So I just chose a little sticker icon here, and it's a star with little lines coming off of it. I thought it reminded me a little bit of like a firework. So I thought, oh, how fun, because I didn't have any like American flag stickers or anything like this with the Prosperity Planner sticker book. So I thought this little firework star looked so cute. And I usually use the stars for like celeb celebratory moments, so it fit in perfectly. And every time I plan, I end up moving things around or you'll see me go between the text tool and the pen tool because sometimes I want to write and sometimes I want it to look especially neat and so I use a text tool. So Independence Day is the only holiday in July but my birthday is also in July. I'll be 36 this year and so I want to mark that on my planner as well. Yay! I mark everybody else's birthday, so I should mark mine as well. And y'all don't laugh. It literally took me doing math to figure out how old I'm going to be. <laughs> the older you get, the less you remember your actual age. <laughs> We have several things going on this month for um, my husband and I, but also he has a car club, so I mark those things down, and then we have some date days slash nights that we're going on, so on the 10th we're going to have a movie date. I'm really excited about that. 
My husband loves Marvel movies and the new Thor Love and Thunder is out, so we're gonna go watch Thor Love and Thunder this day. Here I am, just checking my other calendars. It's thundering outside right now, so if you hear some rain, thunder, let it be a little ambiance. <laughs> Suddenly, on the 9th, I remember he has a car club event, so I go ahead and jot that down. Now, sometimes I'm able to go, but here lately, that's been kind of rarely because they take curvy roads on their runs, and usually it makes me quite nauseous. So, I just mark it down so I don't forget and plan anything with my husband for that day because I'll know that he's busy already. He has things to do on his own. I decided to go ahead and mark all of my paydays and that way I wouldn't forget when I needed to pay specific bills and um, when I'm actually going to get paid so that way I can budget a little better and I'm new to the budgeting scene so to speak I've always done really well but I want to really focus on paying off debt and with chronic illnesses you get some medical debt so I've been working on paying those off so it's important for me to start getting into the budgeting scene learning more about it and how I can pay that debt down to pay it off So this is my monthly layout so far for July. I do add some more things later as time goes on. It's July the 3rd right now, so it's been a few days since I recorded this video. So more things get piled on my um, July monthly planner, but this is what planning looks like for me for my monthly planner. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and share if you will. Don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications when I go live or when I post videos. And be watching out for more videos because I'm kicking up my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye!